We turn now to a lucky and talented young lady from Tuscaloosa who's being honored nationally for her interest in science. Lauren Beatty is a student at Hillcrest High School in Tuscaloosa, and she is one of a select group of 100 high school students that have been named winners in PBS Learning Media's and Stand Up to Cancer's Emperor Science Award program. It's an initiative designed to encourage high school students to explore careers in science, specifically cancer research and care, through a unique mentoring opportunity. Tonight, we take a closer look at Lauren and her passion for both science and cancer research. I was shocked. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing what has come out of this. We never dreamed that she would have won, and so we were both very excited. I think probably overwhelmed when we found out of what the award was going to be until much later. Well, Dr. Strickland offered this award in class to get 10 bonus points on a test. So I just wrote the essay, and since I had already written the essay for the bonus points, I entered it into the contest. Um, my assistant principal is very savvy about knowing about um, new scholarship opportunities and so she forwards those to the faculty whenever she finds out about them. And you'll put about 40 milliliters in here. So once I got the information about the Emperor Science Award, I went to look through it, uh, thought that it was very, very beneficial. And so I offered it to all of my classes, to all of my students as an extra credit assignment, simply because it did have a writing component. It's an award where you get an opportunity to study with a mentor um, and do specific cancer research. They pick the specific area of research and so I have a chance to go to the lab and conduct my own experiments. Cancer research inspires me because everyone is affected by it at some point in their life and so I hope that I get to help make a change by conducting research. In my essay, yeah. I talked about nanotechnology and the different types of nanotechnology that are used to treat cancer cells. They're small devices, you can't even see them, that you can inject into the body that are used to treat a specific cancer cell. So it's not like chemotherapy where it goes throughout your entire body and it doesn't make you as sick. I have an interest for chemistry because my grandfather was a chemist at the University of Alabama and Mississippi State. Grandfather inspires me because he's very successful. He's won many awards and patents. He gets to travel around the world and speak at conferences about chemistry and things. And he's just very knowledgeable and I respect him. So I hope to be like him one day. I'm proud of her, she's done well. I hope she walks away with the desire to really pursue uh, an academic type career, whether it be as a physician, college faculty member, a scientist, whatever, but we need all the females we can in STEM studies because right now they're still underrepresented. Numbers growing, there's lots of opportunities, and I hope she can take advantage of it. But I think it'll raise the teacher's expectations of her. I hope it does, and that that will raise her own expectations for herself, and that she'll go on and really make good use of it. But I hope that she learns that working in a lab is fun, and I hope that by being with a mentor that she will see maybe another side of chemistry that I really can't offer her in a high school setting, uh, and maybe it will spark some other interests that she didn't even know that she had. Well, I hope that I can actually figure out what I want to major in in college if I want to study cancer and be a scientist or do something else. So this will help me realize what I want to do. Lauren Beatty, a student at Hillcrest High School in Tuscaloosa, one of the recipients of the Distinguished Emperor Science Award. She has set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for the costs of travel and housing while she's doing her research. We send her all of our best.